Good day to you people, my name is Mohit and uh, today I'll teach you uh, in Flash CS5 along with ActionScript 3 how to make an analog timer, a timer that has a minute hand, also has an hour hand and of course it has the seconds hand, the seconds needle. Guys, uh, let me show you a published preview of what I've just created. I'm going to hit Control Enter on my keyboard. That's the published preview shortcut. there it's a cool looking one isn't it uh, okay guys uh, let me then um, tell you how I uh, actually created this one how I created this analog uh, timer on the stage guys uh, I have three needles and also I have one more object which is the the uh, the clock itself okay now this uh, red one is the R hand and it's a movie clip with the registration point at bottom center guys if you don't know how to create a movie clip then maybe you need to take some basics uh, basic lessons in flash this specific tutorial is not pretty basic it's, it's uh, slightly higher up so if you don't know how to make a movie clip there are so many tutorials on your uh, YouTube on how to make a movie clip watch it first and this is the minute hand again it's a movie clip with the registration point bottom center the same is true for the uh, seconds hand the seconds hand the minute hand and the hour hand all the three of them are movie clips with the same uh, registration point bottom center and uh, to all three of them I've actually added a filter mm the drop shadow filter if you don't know how to uh, add a drop shadow filter let me show it to you let's create an object okay and uh, make a button I'm gonna make it a movie clip quickly okay and uh, under the filters panel I'm gonna hit this first symbol and then hit on hit uh, click on drop shadow and there goes that's the drop shadow anyways so guys this is the uh, the bigger clock without the needles and these are the R hand needle minute hand needle as well as the seconds hand needle let me put them back where they belong I control Z again and again and again okay so this is how the clock, uh, the clock was originally pretty pretty good okay now guys um, I have placed all the four objects the the background of the clock the main uh, outer clock without the needles and all the three needles which are actually movie clips on the same frame of the same layer and the actions action script is also on the very same layer okay so everything is right here on that on that very first frame of layer number one okay so I'm gonna right click uh, on the specific frame I'm gonna hit actions uh, let me just blow it up okay guys this part of the action script which is actually a timer moves the second hand plus the minute hand the bottom half of the action script which is again a timer it moves the R hand okay now before I actually start explaining the action script to you let me uh, tell you about a small theory and I'm sure you're pretty aware of this theory that the minute hand rotates 60 times faster Ra rather the second hand rotates uh, 60 times faster than the minute hand conversely it means that the minute hand rotates 60 times slower than the second hand okay so working on this theory if in 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second the second hand rotates six degrees 
minute hand got to rotate 6 by 60 which is 60 times slower that makes it equal to 0.1 so with the help of this timer which I've called my timer and stored it into a variable this variable my timer of the type timer kicks off fires off every 1000 uh, milliseconds and uh, I've added an event listener to this timer which listens uh, to the time it understands that 1000 milliseconds have elapsed and then it executes a function second underscore minute underscore mover and this function which is second minute mover second underscore minute underscore mover uh, which is actually a timer event rotates the second hand six degrees you don't need to write degrees guys it's okay to write six and rotates the minute hand 60 times lesser which is 6 by 60 equals to 0.1 and the 11th line in the action script panel kicks off or launches or starts the timer my timer dot start parent parent semicolon starts the timer okay very very good which means that every single second oblique 1000 milliseconds the function second underscore minute underscore mover is going to be executed which is going to rotate the second hand six degrees the minute hand point one degrees sixty times lesser slower in rotation okay very very good okay guys the second part of this action script is again a timer and uh, I'm sure we understand that the R hand rotates 12 times slower than the minute hand just as a second hand rotates 60 times faster than the minute hand the minute hand rotates only 12 times faster than the uh, R hand which means that if the minute hand was to rotate 0 0.1 degrees in 1000 milliseconds the R hand would rotate the same amount which is 0 0.1 degrees in uh, the, s the time which is 12 times more so instead of 1000 milliseconds this would take 12,000 milliseconds which is 12 seconds so every 12 seconds timer called my timer 1 which is stored in a variable of the type timer will be listening to an event of the type timer event and every time 12 seconds elapse or pass it will execute a function called R mover and the function R mover which is a timer event rotates the R hand point 1 degrees so 12 times slower than the minute hand line number 25 is responsible for starting timer number one so timer number one and my timer my timer one and my uh, and my timer both of these timers kick off simultaneously the first timer rotates the second hand minute hand six and point one degrees respectively the second timer my timer one rotates the R hand point one degrees every 12,000 milliseconds or 12 seconds and this is how we create a timer or, or a clock okay I, I prefer to call it a timer because it starts from 12 every time it, it it's not like your uh, computer clock it does not correspond to the time of the computer clock or the real uh, you know the real time it, every time it starts from 12 and then it goes on and on so, uh, so on and so forth so I'm gonna hit control enter to show you the published preview once again guys I hope you like this tutorial you gotta make uh, one such timer for yourself if you have any questions please feel free to uh, push a mail to mohit at the rate adobe cs5 dot n please also visit my website which is www.adobecs5.in for a lot of freebies goodies there's a lot of uh, useful stuff out there please do have a peep there
You have a good time guys. I'll see you next time with yet another Adobe CS5 tutorial. Bye bye.